In the previous video we looked at this important relationship between integration and area and explained why that works. In this one I'm just going to do some examples to uh, show you uh, a little bit more how we do the process. So here I've got the curve y equals 3x squared and I want to find this area that's enclosed between this vertical line uh, x equals 1, x equals 2, the curve and the x-axis. So what we do uh, and the notation is, is important as well, especially if you're doing this for exams. Uh, this area is equal to the integral between 1 and 2 of 3x squared dx. So we integrate 3x squared, so we increase the power by 1 to get x cubed, divide by the new power, and we've still got this constant 3, so our 3's cancel, we're just left with x cubed, and it's an integral between 1 and 2. So what this means is we substitute in the upper value, which is 2, uh, it's just into x cubed here, and so we get 2 cubed, and then I subtract whatever I get when I put in 1, so that's 1 cubed, so this is 8 minus 1, which is 7 uh, units squared. No particular units on this graph, so uh, we don't really need to write units squared, but you can do if you want to. Here's another one. I want the uh, here the curve y equals root x plus x, and I want the area enclosed between the lines x equals 1, x equals 4, the x and the x-axis here in the curve. So as before, we do um, the integral, so the area that we're looking for is the integral between 1 and 4 of this curve, which is root x plus x with respect to x. Now, to do this integral, we're going to need to turn them into indices first, so this is x to the one half plus x with respect to x. So we now do the integration and we get x to the 3 over 2, uh, increasing the power by 1, and then we divide by this new power, so we get 2 thirds x to the 3 over 2 plus x squared over 2. Any problems with these integrations go back to the previous videos. And now to find this area, what this means is, and really please pay attention to the notation, if you're doing this for exams you really will be penalised for not setting this out exactly like this, you know, it must be integral between 1 and 4 dx uh, to show the integrals with respect to x, when you put the square brackets around to the 1 and the 4 come over to the right over here and what this notation means is that we substitute in 4 uh, to start off with, so I get 2 thirds times 4 to the 3 over 2 plus 4 squared over 2 and I subtract when I get when I put in 1, so 2 thirds times 1 to the 3 over 2 plus 1 squared over 2. If you can simplify these things down as you go along, you don't need to necessarily write all of these things in. I'm just doing this to uh, show you every step. So now let's think about what these numbers are then. So 4 to the 3 over 2, that's the square root of 4 cubed, which is 2 cubed, which is 8. You know, writing 4 to the 3 over 2 is 4 to the 1 half cubed. So that's 8, so it's 2 thirds times 8, so that's 16 over 3. This is 4 squared, which is 16 over 2, which is 8. And then I'm going to subtract my 1 to the 3 over 2, and that's just 1. So we've got 2 thirds here uh, plus 1 half. Now, you know, you can either uh, do this in your calculator or, or work out uh, you know the the fractions by putting them all over a common denominator, but uh, let me just say, once you've worked all of that out, you get 73 over 6 uh, units squared. Okay, uh, so that would be the area enclosed here. Okay, slightly trickier example here. Now I've got y equals x squared and y equals 4. Um, x equals minus 1 and x equals minus 2. And I want to work out this area in here that's enclosed. Uh, here. So, um, the you know, most obvious thing to do, which we will do, I think, is to work out the integral uh, of x squared with respect to x between minus 1 and minus 2. Be a little bit careful here because uh, so minus 2 is the lower limit, minus 1 is the upper limit, because that's the larger number, and just be a little bit careful at the end here when we come to do this because 
uh, the area we're working out is the area underneath the curve between the curve and the x-axis. So actually the integral that I'm working out here is the uh, the red area and we actually want the black area but we'll sort that out we'll sort that out in a second. So uh, firstly this area well I integrate it to get x cubed over 3 between minus 2 and minus 1 and uh, when I substitute in minus 1 I get minus 1 cubed over 3 and now I subtract what I get when I put in minus 2 so that's minus 2 cubed over 3 so minus 1 cubed is minus 1 so this is minus 1 third minus this is minus 8 over 3 so that's plus 8 over 3 so this gives me 7 thirds that's the red area okay so the area that we're actually looking for here which is the black area in here well you see these points you know this is reasonably nice because the uh, curve and the line here actually do meet at this point which is um, the point minus 2 4 so the red and the black area together just make up this rectangle which has got base 1 and height 4 units so the black area is just going to be 4 the area of the rectangle minus the red area which is 7 thirds and 4 is 12 thirds, so this is 12 thirds minus 7 thirds, so our final answer here is 5 thirds uh, units squared. So, I think majorly different there, but sometimes you've got to think about what, you know, what area the integral actually finds. Remember, the, the integral finds the area between the curve and the x-axis. Okay, It doesn't necessarily find the one you're looking for, it will always find the one between the curve and the x-axis, so you might have to then do something with that once you've got it.